We're just a bit further up the up Blackie Mill River, and that's actually a great crested grebe with it's got about four chicks there. I've never before seen them on rivers. The prop the way they have to nest on them, but I've never seen them because I didn't even know what they were. Aye. I can hear another one over there. But a great crested grebe on the river. There's another one in there, I can hear it. Oh, there they're gone. Something scared them. Look at all the young ones gone now. Five of them actually. Ah, there is five young. Die. And it wasn't it wasn't us that scared them because we were just standing here. Die for the size of them. There's still another one over there. Can you hear it? It must be reading the bank sites. I would like that. I didn't know if that was the female, because it wasn't as brightly coloured. I wouldn't know, because it's not something I've seen reading my face. They have a big crest on them and everything. It's got to be in just under that bank side over there. You wouldn't, have you even seen them on your local ponds and out like that? Not great crested, no. You, you get the little grebes on the, yeah. on the water, but I've never... I've never seen the great crested grebes. It's supposed to not been this close to one. I've seen them on videos loads of times. I've seen one big when I've been fishing on the lakes. But I think I don't know. I thought I would see something across there under that tree. It's definitely in behind the branches, but I just don't know where. I'm just going to try from a different angle. I didn't see it the first time. But the male grill crested, great crested grebe's in there somewhere. So I could still hear it making a noise. Making its little call. Oh. What's them black flies attacking us? Then build a, a big. I've just seen you know, a dipper. dipper. It's actually flowing to the banks, I'd say, with them yellow plant, them yellow. Can you get up there though, can we? No. Any further? Oh, it's like on the water, a bit further up. I don't know where does this path take me up. We're just doing the bottom end of the pond there and straight across. I'm not sure if they're young birds, you can just see a couple of reeds in the water. It's oh, that's got uh, that's that's ready here, there. Just across there you can see, it, they call it a dab chick. It's a little grebe. But I'm not so sure if these are young birds as well. Wow, they're all our eye. You can see them. It's just went under the water there, there's there's some in the reeds just there. Oh, there's another one. It's just popped up there. It's just popped up, aye. It's right back under. So they're definitely grebes then? Aye, I definitely grebes. They've got the red head in that. Like a slight colour of red on the heaps. But just there, that looks like the nest. So would them be early nesters then, like? It's the double and treble brooded. Yeah, so the would be like the first aye. brood would be quite early on. Aye, and that's a... There it is. I can see it quite well over there. Yeah, yeah, it's just sitting there. It keeps coming under the water every time so I get on. What, what, would these be the tadpoles and stuff or? Aye. You, you do get them little type of minnow fish in here, we've seen them, haven't we? But they would actually eat tadpoles and stuff. Aye. So there's only a moon in here, I mean, it's like even anywhere in this pond, you Aye. know. Aye, there's another one. Aye, they're definitely the grebes, then. Let's back up over there again. 
good. There's at least four or five of them, won't you? Oh, I can see it, that I? That's not a young bird, though. That's a that's one of the parent ones. There's that two one. there. Can you see? There's like a pair together, there, isn't it? There's three actually. Oh, has it got young with it? I either have. There's the big one. They've got. Little, can you see the oh, young? I can see. I've got behind. the little chick on the camera here. Yeah. So there's it's a couple of. Ah, oh, it's got a few I chicks with it. I thought when I first seen them, oh. they looked tiny. The ones I'd first seen, so it must have been the chicks. But these type of birds. It, it's um they'll have the young out of the nest like that and it'll start laying again within the same week it, now like within a couple of weeks in the right. same nest uh, it, it's just across there in the reeds i can just see it i mean it's it's not a lot of what i know with pond birds uh, and stuff. i had a pond it's just a off of mine birds. and them ones used to do that and i had enough of it but not they're a lovely bird when you've got them on view you can see the little trick scan, so it nearly looks like it's... It's on its back. Is it? It's hard for me to see from you, but that's what I thought, like it was on its back. Ah, it's, it's 100% on its back, I've got it on camera there. I didn't even realise they'd done it. Neither did I, and I had swans on that day, and ducks. Yeah. But they must just be freshly hatched. Good swimmers for being straight with the nest, mate. Because they're straight under the water then. But that's... That's another good find, that. Because it's... It's the first time I've known the little groups to be on this pond. So this pond, it's took it about 20 years, but it's matured and quite well. This pond, it was just an old a runoff from the tip. Mm. There's the bird over there again. Do they normally stick to the sides or will they often come, come out into the middle or do they like to be They will come out in the middle, eh? They eat like the plant here, like the, the small, grassy, weedy type of stuff. It's like mm. ducks and all, I didn't, I'm not even 100% sure what they eat. I know they eat vegetation and stuff like that and other stuff, but I'm not sure about the tadpoles. I've got that one there chewing high in bits of reed about. But reeds are edible anyways, aren't they, even for us? This video is going to be a little bit shaky. I'll zoom back so I'm not shaking all over the place with the camera. It's when you zoom in too far, it just shakes and bounces all over. Uh, but that's the grebe's nest there. When I first came down, it actually jumped off the oh, nest. Aye. A bit there. You can see the, one of the little chicks on its back, mate. Aye, it's definitely got it's one on its back, and there's one behind it as well. Two. Two, two behind them. Oh, there's another one coming up. Third one, it's like... The, the oh, it's just behind them, hi. That was worth coming in here. Because at the most, you just seen the coots. We did find a well. Canada goose here one year, but that was only once. You get the coots in the water, and... but the grebe's a good find in here. Yeah. And that's what that is. Pretty we didn't find the nest earlier on when it's next, so we could have took a shot. Aye. Trouble is, when you scare them off, they cover the eggs when they read. Uh, now, so you'll really never even know that they've got eggs from like from here. That just looks like an old nest. They cover them. They lay a white egg, but by the time it's been stained off all that wet stuff, no, it, ends up, it ends up just all stained and it like looks like a darky brown colour. It might even have eggs under there within the next week. Because when I came down, it, it actually looked like a bird had jumped off that nest. Uh -huh. They would have seen what coming from real up there, and they would have started covering the nest up straight away, covering the eggs up and and hid them, and then jumped off as we were closer. But anyways, that's a, a good ending to the video for the day. Something I haven't seen in a few years, the little grapes. You get them in the now the nature reserve type ponds, but this is more in the wild. This is a wild pond. This eye, uh, it's it's not a lot of people know about this pond. Well, people know about it, but it's, it's not man-made. Or if it was, it was about 20, 30 or 40 years ago.